Hi right then people, here we are, a little bit different today, so we're sitting here in my kitchen because it's got a tile floor so it'll be easy to uh, sweep up any mess, which we're probably going to see in a few minutes. So you'd have seen from my story that I get um, approached by brands to collaborate and often I say no because it's just not really my sort of thing, I'm a premium streetwear sort of person and um, don't really deviate from that. However, I thought I'd leave it all up to you to see if you're interested in me doing this. And uh, you went ahead and voted yes for this one. Pretty, I think there's only one person, maybe two people voted no. Thank you, uh, I know you got my back. So anyway, so we've moved on and uh, I ordered a pair, as you have to do. And um, it's taken a couple of weeks to get them from China. Um, and when they arrived, I actually thought I'd been sent an iPhone. Um, because I thought that's quite nice, isn't it? Nice little box and all the rest of it. And then when you open it up, whoops, you get a little manual. Well, you don't really need that because it's pretty basic about what we're going to do here, isn't it? And you get a trimmer, which feels pretty nice to hand. Pretty nice rubber. It's got a bit of grip on it and turns on. Well, the blades are a bit interesting. It's kind of got like metal or alloy blade it reckons and then it looks like a plastic bit that's doing the trimming across so I'm a little bit nervous about that but it does promise no nicks it promises not to leave any hair behind <clears throat> which I'm a bit worried about and um, yeah and also when you open up the box further as you do investigate further in it gets some actual different clipper head lens so <laughs> you can actually put a, apply a grade to your balls if that's your sort of thing if you you know I'm, I like a fade as much as the next one so I'm hoping to get like a mini fade around one of my testicles to match my head and then you get um, a little thing like charger and <laughs> a little mini brush as well so um, so you pretty much got all the components there to uh, trim a pair of hairy balls. I wouldn't, I don't want it to go on, um, uh, you know, go on record that I've got extremely hairy balls. I don't. They're just, I'll just say they're regular hairy, um, you know. So anyway, I thought though, if you're going to do this, how, what have I got to compare with it? So I do actually have a ba Babyliss, Babyliss for men um, clippers already which have adjustable height on it, and they come with like a full set, you know, scissors, all of those clipper heads, oil, all the rest of it. Japanese still, which I'm a big fan of. Check out these global knives. If you're into your knives, you'll know all about global. If you're not, then have a little look at those. So I thought that way I could do a comparison. So I'll do one ball with the uh, Babyliss for men, and I'll do the other ball with uh, the smooth my balls and uh, then uh, we can do get Becky, she can do a, a touch test to see uh, which she thinks has been the smoothest, is the smoothest. Um, so I know that you know smooth my balls haven't asked me to do a comparison but how else are you going to know, you know whether one's better than the other. So without further ado then let's, uh, let's get into this shall we. Right then here we go so I'm going to do one ball with the um, Babless for men, fully charged. I'm gonna make that as close as I can, that's like zero. So uh, let's see, let's see how this goes. Okay, it's a little a bit tricky, it's quite a wide blade to get round the edges, around the circle of shape of it all. Okay, that's sort of done something. So that's the Babylus, and then this, uh, oh, it's got a different sound, isn't it? Maybe it's not fully charged. Hmm. Okay, we'll give it a go anyway. So let's get the smooth my balls, see how that, how that glides over better. Oh, okay, definitely gonna need the brush. Right. So um, anyway, that's the test done. So as you can see, it hasn't really shaved off anything on that. 
So, um, but it equally hasn't exploded and it kind of has made some difference to this tennis ball. So let's get to the real McCoy now, shall we? And then we can do the Becky smooth ball test after. All right, here we go. Right, got a bit of tennis ball fluff stuck in this one, so we're gonna give it a little brush before we actually uh, get to the main event. Hmm. Not sure. These brushes, I don't know about these brushes. Oh, it's the same for the Babless one. A bit useless. I'm really wishing I'd given this an overnight charge, but all right, let's get straight in then. Smooth my balls. Here we go. Testicle, right testicle, okay? Oh my god, okay. Getting closer. Oh my god, okay. It's it's going over my ball now. So far, it's it's done it. Actually pretty good. No nicks. I mean, I'm not an expert, but I would say that's actually done quite a good job. There's actually quite a lot of hair there, more than I was expecting. So, um, okay. Oh God. Wow. Really feeling a little bit nervous about having something so close to my balls. Right. Oh. Wow. Okay. Is that okay? Fine. So that is one side pretty much done. And it is pretty good. It has sort of just glided over. Not not cause any issues. <laughs> what do you think, Becky? <laughs> yeah, happy with that? I mean, you've done a lot there, you've taken off a lot. I have done, I have probably gone in a bit it's gone more. It's up into the bikini sort of area. Yeah, okay. it is, it's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, I can imagine that's going to be a bit annoying when it grows back. Might get a bit spiky. Might have to stay this way for some time. Okay. That's the um, smoother balls on the right testicle. Let's have a look at the the babylus for men. So I'm assuming that means testicles. Sounds a bit more industrial, doesn't it? A bit worried about this one. Mm. Oh shit, here we go. Okay, that's just gliding through. That's so far so good. To be fair though, I'm just doing the bikini bit, as Becky would call it. <laughs> Not that I wear bikinis. But I might have to after this, to see what happens. Right. Okay, now we're into the left testicle. And that is gonna, yeah, ooh. Not gonna lie, I think I got nicked. I think I got a little nick on that one. Ooh. I think because it's a metal, it's all metal. I think it, um, I'd worry, oh, yeah, it's, I don't know, I'd just worry about it getting a bit hot, whereas on the Smooth My Balls one, it did have like a plastic, um, I don't know, this is still doing it, it's just, I think it's the noise that's worrying me the most, I'll be honest with you. The Babylon feels like in one slip and I could be on a trip to the hospital. But, um, right. I think that's as good as I'm going to get to. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a good idea to be in a, have a mirror or something, but anyway. Becky's there. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Hey, put it down. Alright. I officially did nick. Oh, get a nick. Right then. So, uh, Becky, come and give us a little test. Tell us which one you think is the smallest. Smooth, smallest? They're both tiny right now. <laughs> What's the smoothest? Okay. So the babulous one's still got quite a lot of hair on it, I have to say. Oh yeah, okay. And the smooth my balls one is actually quite smooth. And you feel, yeah, have you hurt yourself? I don't know, it's a bit red, isn't it? 
They've definitely got a lick of that. Yeah, look. Ow. It's going to be okay though. I'll put a plaster on it. I think this, the verdict is smooth my balls has definitely done the best job. Really? And you didn't get nicked with that, nicked with that one. I didn't. Uh, so there you go. Smooth my balls is the winner. But the real winner is, well, nobody really. No, Becky. No, <laughs> who? Your hey. balls. My balls. My balls are the real winner. Well, certainly the right one anyway. All right, that's it then. So um, they've given me a code, haven't they? Which I'll either put up on the screen right now or I'll stick it in a story or whatever, or the post, uh, so that you can get a discount on a smooth my balls, balls trimmer. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, obviously if I get approached by any more brands, uh, please do vote no, uh, so that I don't have to go through this again. Lots of love everyone, you take care with your trimming needs and we'll speak soon. Right, that's all sorted out now. Jesus. Oh.